Hi guys, Toby here for TP23 Productions. Now, as you may know, at this current moment in time, the uh, World Cup is happening in Brazil, and uh, I thought I would take the time to do a review on a bit of an old World Cup game, and that is 2010 FIFA World Cup South Africa. Now, 2010 FIFA World Cup South Africa is using the same engine as FIFA 10, but this time around, instead of having clubs, you now have national teams. With the game there aren't many additions, there are 199 teams to choose from. Obviously, me being me, I chose England. Um, every single player that you can think of under the sun is included in the game. I think really this game was just a money spinner. Um, I think it was just because the World Cup was on back in 2010, uh, so they made a game for it really. There aren't many new additions. Um, there is a new penalty taking system. Uh, slight adjustment, but apart from that, uh, nothing really. You do get to see the fans. It does get annoying when you see the same fan animation, however the uh, clothes that they wear do change. You also get to see the close-up of the coaches, the managers, which is alright, you know, it's slightly different because usually you just see the players, but now you do get to see the managers. Really, it's good to see uh, your team, like England, you go from qualifying all the way up to the group stages, to quarterfinals, to semi-finals, and to the final if you're lucky enough. Uh, you can coach your own team, so my captain mode. Um, that's pretty cool, I do enjoy that. I try and do that for every FIFA game that I get. However, one downside was that you start as your default settings. So everything that you did in 2010 to get your player up to a 99 rated player, for example, uh, soon goes out the window when you import your player to be the captain of your country and all your settings have gone back to default with 54 which is a bit annoying I worked hard to get my player up to uh, awesome mode and now he's shit again that was one downside uh, the major upside though is that if you're good enough um, in my situation I did uh, bend a few rules to make my national team win the World Cup but well, that is the biggest satisfaction of the game, making England win the World Cup. There is an animation so you can see them lift the trophy. Your captain, me, my creative player, can do it, which was great. That's pretty much the only reason why I brought this game. Um, like I've mentioned, the World Cup in Brazil is currently on, and the only reason why I thought I'd uh, do a review of this money-spinning game was because of uh, recent events in football news. So, if you like the World Cup, if you like FIFA, uh, especially FIFA 10, then you will enjoy FIFA World Cup South Africa. Uh, it is a money spinner. The engine is pretty much the same. There are very small changes. However, you do get to see uh, your national team lift the trophy. So thanks for watching my review of 2010 FIFA World Cup South Africa. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Also, guys, don't forget, we the devoted links are down below as per usual. Go check them out. Use TobyWTD gets you 20% off any We The Devoted items you decide to buy. Links down below as per usual. But guys, thanks for watching my review of 2010 FIFA World Cup South Africa.